Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today we're going to be looking at some huge news for the XDC network and then some further updates on WadsPay and Impel's new upcoming trade event. We are then going to finish off by looking into ITFA and the future of trade finance as well as ISO 20022 integration. I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at a tweet from XTC community, the XTC network has built for trade finance and enterprise, which requires high performance. As an Ethereum virtual machine compatible layer 1, XTC meets the needs of enterprises, while providing an open source environment that's convenient for developers to build. Couldn't have said it better myself. We know what XTC is for enterprises. Many huge enterprises are already adopting XTC's technology because it makes a difference in the trade finance world. XTC is everywhere you see trade, okay? It's going to digitize trade finance and make everybody's life in that process much easier. And XTC community guys continues to say that we would like to invite Sol developers to come participate in the XTC's ecosystem. There are two hackathons going on right now to support development on XTC and there's a guide that has been created to get Solana devs started. It is an amazing opportunity for Solana, Ethereum developers, especially with the high ridiculous gas fees that you have to pay on Solana, on Ethereum, on Polygon just to name a few. Why would you still use them? Is it because the marketing machines are not marketing it right? Are the media giants marketing Ethereum, Polygon and Solana? Why would they do that? <laughs> it's an obvious one guys. Whenever they say one thing, do always take the opposite meaning of that. When they say there's not a recession happening, it is happening right in front of our eyes. Okay, so always take the opposite of what they say. And always remember this guys, do not listen to what they say, follow what they do and they always do the opposite of what they say. Getting back onto the topic, these networks like Solana are too expensive in gas fees, XTC is definitely the chosen one in that arena, and in many other categories, right? Being faster, cheaper, energy efficient, attacking trillion of dollars in trade finance, cross-border payments, okay, we're attacking too many markets. And if you are a Solana developer or a Ethereum developer, this is your opportunity to take part in this hackathon create something new for the XTC ecosystem and save a fortune on fees, all right? XTC will very soon be marketed by the media giants because XTC is one of the chosen coins and they are hiding it right now. They don't want you to know about XTC. They want you to know about Solana, about Ethereum. And these chains don't work. They've had so many hacks in the past. People have lost money in these. And in XTC, guys, it's a sleeping giant, okay? When XTC wakes up and all the media start giving it attention, then, my friends, it would be too late to buy XTC because that's when it's going to be FOMO time. And you don't want to FOMO into XTC. XTC at 3 cents is an amazing buying opportunity. So all I'm going to say is pay attention to XTC because XTC is an ISO compliant network coin, okay? And it's attacking too many markets. Utility is going to be the winner here because XTC is full of utility. Okay, so please pay attention to XTC. Let's move on to the next bit. And just for some fun, we're going to be watching this short clip. Merlin Crypto Future Invest says, whoops, he said that quiet part out loud. When they need to say this, it's quite the opposite. And we can expect a pop and boom in the financial markets very soon, guys. Okay, are you prepared? What opportunities are you investing in for your future? What are you exploring? If you're not already, get to know the ISO 20022 compliant coins. Okay, people, let's have a quick look at this clip and then we'll talk about it at the end. The person who is about to grab their car keys and go to the ATM and take out $3,000, you say what? You don't need to. Your ATM is safe. Your banks are safe. There's enough cash in the financial system and there is an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. An infinite, an infinite, an infinite. An infinite, an infinite amount of cash at the Federal Reserve. As you see in there, guys, the government is telling us your money's safe, your banks are safe. We've got infinite amount of money. And where are they getting that from? 
they are in trillions of dollars of debt. They are printing to infinity, guys. This is why inflation is needed. This is why interest rates are needed because they can't control the economy and they continue printing. So your cash, your money in your bank, it's definitely not safe. Definitely take the opposite meaning of what he just said. Okay, and invest in crypto, especially ISO compliant coins and XTC is definitely one of the chosen ones that you should be giving your time and attention to. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Michael Crypto XTC, the ITFA Trade Finance Forum. So guys, this is a very important forum that we need to pay attention to. It happened in September, but the details have just come out on what happened. Okay, so we're going to be taking out some key points that affect trade finance and especially XDC. Moving straight to the part where they talk about trade and technology. Oscan, who is the senior executive officer and board director for DP World Financial Services, says trade transformation requires not only innovation, but also collaboration simply because the scale and the complexity of global trade is huge given the involvement of various funders, third party providers, regulators, data security and the complexity of the underlying transactions. So one thing is clear that we need the governments, we need the banks, we need the central banks, we need the blockchain companies to collaborate and solve these trade finance issues, which is what is happening right now. Many organizations such as HSBC, Lloyds have carried out transactions on the XDC network. Okay, they are partnered with XDC indirectly, but through many other organizations such as ITFA, TFD, okay, and the DNI initiative. And all these huge organizations bring XDC at the heart of it all. Okay, and once we can collaborate, guys, I think we are going to move faster. And I know for a fact guys that the foundations have already been laid many years ago they have been testing cbdc's digital finance digital money they have been testing this and now it's just a matter of rolling it all out and letting the public know and letting the timeline run everything falls on a timeline guys nothing ever happens as a coincidence so remember that nothing is a coincidence in the world of finance and they say here guys scalability is necessary for digitization to be successful while many advances have been made with the introduction of MLETR, e-bills of lading, uniform rules for digital trade transactions, to name a few, standardization and consolidation are far from being achieved. Everyone needs to be on a level playing field, okay? So they can interact, interoperate with each other seamlessly, okay? Interoperability is a major one here. And when the UK kicks off MLETR adoption from next year, more and more countries are going to start adopting this new system and eventually guys within the next six months to a year iso is coming in and mletr is going to come in and more and more countries are going to start putting everything to place all the puzzle pieces are going to be connected and everything's going to fall onto a level playing field where everybody can compete on the same page so what is the tfd initiative trying to do they are trying to create a bridge between the trade finance space and the originators the funders and the institutional investors with a multi-bank, multi-investor or repackaging entity. So the trader token was released on the XTC network for institutions to get involved. Okay, this is how big this opportunity is. XTC is something that you can buy right now for just three cents. Okay, and you can take part in this trillion dollar transformation into the digital era. So what is the future of trade finance transactions? The panel concluded by assessing the various proof of concepts currently being tested and agreeing that in a utopian world, stakeholders involved in a trade finance transactions would use a public network underpinned by blockchain technology to carry out the execution end to end. You see it there guys, blockchain is the end solution and XTC is the only one partnered with TFDI, ITFA guys, okay? XTC is trying to solve this trillion dollar problem that the world of finance has today. And blockchain technology, as they mentioned here, is gonna help to execute this end to end. And to finish off guys, they say that they need to achieve this with one critical ingredient, which is called collaboration. The powers, the incumbents, the world leaders, the governments need to collaborate to make this possible. And I know in the end, they are gonna collaborate. They are already collaborating many huge banks, Governments have already collaborated. They are calling cryptocurrencies a form of money. 
and MLETR is coming into adoptions. A couple of countries are already adopted MLETR. Many governments are looking at MLETR right now. So the future is here, guys. The future is XDC. So please pay attention. Let's move on to the next bit. Let's have a quick look at the What's Paid WTK token. Looking at this screen grab, guys, they were a runner up in the Commercial Bank of Dubai Innovation Challenge, okay? And they cemented its spot as one of the most attractive up and coming blockchain projects in the UAE. And they emphasize on enabling interoperability on blockchain payment systems, which is the key, guys. Interoperability is going to be key to connecting blockchains together and with the old world as well. And WhatsPay, guys, has secured many prestigious partnerships with the biggest government entities in blockchain, and they have at least 21 companies with blockchain payment services. So, guys, WhatsPay is definitely something to keep your eyes out on. So, guys, WTK being priced at what it is, is definitely a good buying opportunity. It's definitely a good long term huddle because they are in very big contracts with governments and in partnership with many organizations in the world of finance. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at it from payment infrastructure news, breaking Canada will postpone the go live date for ISO 20022 messaging on links until March 2023 in alignment with Swift's revised implementation date. So Canada is still going forward guys with the deployment of the technology as usual in November 2022, but they are going to activate this technology in March 2023. So what do you think is happening guys? Are we going to have this big bang approach? All the countries are going to start moving to March 2023, aligning with Swift's revised date, and then everyone's going to go live simultaneously on one day. Is that possible? Because everyone's getting a chance now to align and get ready for March. I honestly don't think this is all a coincidence. Many countries are starting to move to the new revised date of March 2023. Why do you think that they have bought four months more time to start this integration process to the ISO standard because they need this time to make the world go into more chaos. And as we know, interest rates are going ballistic, inflation is killing everybody. Not literally, I mean, like in the sense that you are having less cash to save. The cost of living is really affecting the whole world. So they need more problems in the world. So do expect guys to get more issues around supply chains, around financing, around work and fuel and electric and energy and blackouts guys as in energy blackouts such with gas and electric because we are heading towards winter. All I'm going to say is just look after yourself and your family and put your cash in ISO compliant projects such as XDC. Okay, let's move on to the next bit. And while we are talking about the ISO integration, we will quickly look at something from the IMF. They say the number of central bank digital currencies under research and development has recently exploded. Now, if we look at this screen grab, guys, in 2018, there were approximately 19 countries, okay, looking into CBDCs. In July 2020, 39, and currently in July 2022, we have 97 countries exploring, launching, piloting CBDCs. So all I'm going to say quickly here is CBDCs are going to be coming somewhere near you. Okay, it's going to be the future of money. We are going to have to use it in the end, I believe. We are going to oppose it as much as we can, but just have it in your mind that it can potentially happen. Okay, because CBDCs are going to work hand in hand with digital currencies like crypto. So we need to pay attention to this as well. Okay, let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Impel. Heads up, Impel is going to have a meet and greet event for the XDC network community in New York City on the evening of November 28th of 2022, a day before Impel co-sponsors the GTR review, the GTR conference, which is known as the Global Trade Conference. Okay, stay tuned for more details. So let's have a quick look at what this event is going to be about. So this is going to be the United States leading trade and supply chain financing conference happening in New York. US companies and their financiers face a growing multitude of macroeconomic and operational challenges from the rapidly rising cost of goods and financing to the proliferation of counterparty risks posed by hardening financial markets and geopolitical turmoil. So this is a trade and supply chain finance conference. We are going to be paying attention to this day as it comes closer. I'll be updating you on it. But guys, they're going to be talking about digitizing trade finance, 
looking into supply chain management because everything is in turmoil right now, okay? Everything is slowed down and it's much more expensive. And moving to blockchain, guys, we know it's the end solution, it's the end game, and XDCs plays perfectly at the center of trade finance. So please pay attention, guys, because XDC is definitely one of the chosen coins. So that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care